Hello everyone, my name is Vinay Mata. My name is Devansh and my name is Yashun Soni. We are all EC final year students and today we are going to present our final year project that is water quality monitoring system using IoT and machine learning. In this project, our main aim is to monitor water quality. As we know, potable water is a fundamental requirement for human survival. Keeping this in mind, WHO has set some standards regarding this to ensure that all people have access to potable water. This is the main objective of our project, that is to determine whether the water sample under test is drinkable or not. So this is the actual hardware involved in our project, that is water quality monitoring system. Now here we are having a pH probe, then we have a turbidity sensor, then we have a TDS probe and at last we are having a temperature sensor. All of these data is acquired by our Arduino that is a microcontroller board and here we are having some standard solutions which are used for calibration of pH probe. Here we are having a Wi-Fi module that is used to send the data acquired by the microcontroller. And at last we are having a switch which is used to take sample from the sensors. In this image we can see the overall system architecture of the implementation. As we have seen the hardware already, here we can see that the Wi-Fi module sends the data to a cloud server and from there we are deriving two functionalities. First is remote visualization of the gathered data and second is the alerts and notifications using the email service. This image shows the cloud architecture. Uh, the data coming from the hardware uses MQTT protocol and this data is first passed on to the data acquisition server which consists of Node-RED and MATLAB. Node-RED communicates with MATLAB to fetch the prediction from the classification model and sends the gathered prediction along with other sensor data to a real-time database which is Firebase in our case. And from this we can visualize the data on the website. Now let's uh, see the visualization part of the website as well as the alert and notifications part. So first up when we load the website we see the values of our parameters that we receive from the sensor as well as the machine learning models prediction which is shown over here. As we scroll down we will see the charts that are plotted using the past values as well as the present value of all the parameters. Now we'll go through the real-time database provided by Firebase which we are using to store user values, uh, user data as well as the values from the sensors. The last element of our project system is the email notifications we get using the email.js service. Now this shows us the prediction made by the machine learning model as well as all the values of the sensors and also the timestamp. So this was all we have accomplished during our project. Thank you for bearing with us and goodbye.